Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need. Remaking the uh, bicycle chain tutorial. Um, because last time my voice was completely unsynced uh, after you got to about like two minutes I think in. Um, so this one will actually be synced because I'm using Audacity here uh, along with my uh, cam studio. Alright, uh, so anyway, um, what we're going to do here is, I already got about 10 boxes here lined up, maybe 11, I can't remember. Uh, but I've got a good amount of boxes here lined up, and I've got a line with four points uh, set up. So this is um, kind of like animating a chain, but this is going to be a little bit different. So we've got this. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to create uh, a spline IK. So we're going to go ahead and select the bottom one here, go to animation, choose your uh, IK uh, uh, solvers, and then spline IK. And then we're going to grab this box here, and then we're going to grab the spline. So you can see all pretty simple and easy stuff here. Alright, this gives you uh, your dummies here, so I can grab any of these dummies. Uh, by the way, the little boxes there are called dummies. So I can grab any of them and move these uh, any which way, as you can see. So, um... This could also be used uh, for like a conveyor belt, as you can see, like this. But that's beside the point. Um, okay, so we've got that done. Now what we want to do is we want to create a path for the um, boxes to move along. So that's going to be circle. Actually, we want to use an ellipse because chances are you're going to more likely see an ellipse uh, type shape more likely than a circle if you're creating a bike so, well bike chain anyway uh, the next thing we want to do is click H and that will bring up your select by name dialog box and you're going to select all of your points so point zero 0.01 to point zero 0.04 select OK and now you're going to go into constraints and then it's going to be a path constraint so now it's going to have to move along this path it won't go anywhere else so now I'll uh, just click each W, now I'm at W4, so I kind of want to leave it and click a different W. So I got W3, so we're going to put that there. Uh, point 0.2, so we're going to move this about halfway. And then point 0.1 will move all the way. So. There we go. So this will be the farthest. Like this. Okay, so now as you can see, bound to the path here. So let's go ahead and shrink the path. And we're going to put these in uh, different locations. This one is going to be right. Oh, we'll put this one right here. We're going to take this one, we're going to move it right here. And then we'll take this one and move it right here. And then, now obviously, I would need still longer uh, chain or path. So something like this is what you want to uh, end up with. Something relative to this. Uh, so you probably want to get a few more W's in here so that way it end up like this. And then you can go ahead and move each W to a certain point. Now the best thing to probably do, best way to animate this would probably be to move this W straight across. Uh, so come around like this and make it end up exactly where the W number 1 is and then put W number 1 where W number 4 is and W number 4 where this one is. Um, but this automatically creates a path for you as you can see. So there, that's a quick way to uh, create a uh, bike uh, chain. Obviously this one's not perfect uh, for a few reasons, one of which the boxes, two of which uh, it doesn't go really that in depth to do it, but this is just a quick way to do it uh, to have yourself animate a box or a chain with it. Uh, the best thing to probably do is to have obviously some more uh, points on your line to put the dummies. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next ones.